Hello everybody. In this video session, we will derive the RMS value of an AC quantity. So this is the most commonly used value, which is called as the RMS value. Now here we have considered the AC voltage. Now whenever we say AC, by default it means sinusoidal. If it is other than sinusoidal, then we have to mention specifically like triangular, square, sawtooth, and so on. Here we have considered the AC voltage. But we can consider AC current also, same procedure we have to follow. Now what is meaning of RMS? So RMS is the short form of the term root mean square. Meaning is that we have to take root of mean of squares of the values. So in general we can write the expression. So general expression of RMS value. So RMS value of fx fx is any function is equal to square root of root of mean that is we have to take the average mean of squares fx square dx root of mean mean meaning average so 1 upon t integration 0 to t fx square dx because it is the square root mean square now one important thing here in case of average value we have got two different values for full cycle different value for half cycle different value but for rms value there will be only one value even if you consider half cycle or full cycle in case of sinusoidal quantity why because here we are taking the square so square of positive it will be positive and square of negative is also positive so here we can consider either half cycle or full cycle for this sinusoidal quantity so just for simplicity we will consider full cycle now here in our case what is the fx in our case fx is the ac voltage that is v which is given by that is the standard equation v equal to vm sin omega t now we will put this value here and we will get the rms value so v rms will be equal to square root 1 upon now how much is the time period here in our case it is 2 pi so 1 upon 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi v square d omega we will put value of v so this will be equal to root of 1 upon 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi vm square sin square omega t d omega t now we can take this vm square and this 2 pi outside of this square root so it will be vm divided by root 2 pi into root integration 0 to 2 pi sin square omega t d omega t. Now how to calculate integration of sin square omega t. So from the basic so since sin square omega t we can represent as 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 why divided by 2 because 1 minus cos 2 omega t is 2 sin square omega t so in order to cancel the 2 we have to divide by 2 so if you put this value here we can write v rms equal to vm upon root of 2 pi square root of integration 0 to 2 pi sin square omega t is 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 d omega t we have put this value of sin square omega t in this expression now this will be equal to vm upon now here it is root 2 into root pi and here 2 that is in the square root so root 2 into root 2 we can write it as 2 into root pi 
as it is root pi as it is square root of now what is integration of 1 minus cos 2 omega t with respect to d omega t so integration of 1 so it will be omega t minus integration of cos 2 omega t it will be sin 2 omega t upon 2 and we have to put the limits so limits are from 0 to 2 pi ok now this is equal to vm upon 2 root pi square root of now first we have to put upper limit and then lower limit so omega t so that we can write as 2 pi minus sin of 2 into 2 pi that is 4 pi divided by 2 minus omega t that is the lower limit 0 again there is the minus so minus minus it will be plus sin of 2 into 0 so sin 0 divided by 2 so here we will complete the bracket ok now this is equal to vm upon 2 root pi into root of 2 pi as it is minus now sin 4 pi is 0 this is 0 and sin 0 is 0 so we can write 2 pi minus 0 so this will be equal to vm upon 2 into root pi into root 2 into root pi so we can write root 2 pi as root 2 into root pi now here root pi is there root pi is there it will get cancelled so finally so what we obtained here so just i will rough this part so vrms will be equal to vm now here it is 2 so that we can write as root 2 into root 2 1 root 2 it will get cancelled so it will be vm upon root So that is the expression for RMS value of voltage. Similarly, we can write if you simplify Vm upon root 2. So 1 upon root 2, if you calculate, it is 0 0.707 times Vm. Okay. So it is equal to maximum value divided by root 2 or RMS value is 0 0.707 times maximum value. If you want to write for current, so similarly, similarly we can write it for current I RMS, it will be equal to I M upon root 2 or I RMS is equal to 0 0.707 times IM times IM so these are the expressions for RMS voltage and RMS current so in this way we can derive RMS value of an AC quantity Okay, so general formula for RMS value is this in our case AC quantity is the sinusoidal quantity we have considered the voltage okay? and after solving we have got RMS value as 0 0.707 times maximum value thank you